Hey, hello and how are you? I'm Will Robinson Smith, your host of Old, New and Now Playing, joining you once again for another trailer reaction on this Trailer Reaction Tuesday. And this time we are talking about a movie that I honestly didn't think we were going to get a trailer for this fast. I'm talking about Rocket Man. This is the biopic based on the life, the music, the character, the man that is Elton John, looking at his formative years as he grew into the musician we've all come to know and love, starring uh, Taron Egerton, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, Jamie Bell, Steve McIntosh, Richard Madden, and a couple of days ago we got our first still image, this one right here that was dropped, I believe, on uh, social media. I know I saw it on Twitter first, and I imagine it popped up other places as well. And I thought, you know, that, that looks cool. You know, Taron Egerton has certainly the, the look of Elton John. Um, and, you know, typically you, you might see, like, uh, the first teaser poster or concept poster for a movie, and then a few days later we'll get uh, the first teaser trailer. But with this, we got the still image. A couple days later, boom, we've got our teaser. So... Uh, without further ado, um, just want to go ahead and jump right into this one because as I'm sure many of you do out there, I also love Elton John. I am not as passionately familiar with his music as I am, say, Queen, which is why I am super excited for the Queen biopic Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, you can look for my thoughts on that right up here, but uh, I'm also really excited for this one when I heard uh, a while back that they were doing a biopic, that Taron Egerton was on board to play Elton John. I really liked him in the first Kingsman. I think Kingsman the Golden Circle was more a disservice of the script and the fact that it went a little more out there than necessary. There was just a groundedness to the original Kingsman that I really liked, but I like Taron Egerton as an actor and so uh, let's go ahead and check out how he does in this first official teaser trailer for Rocket Man coming up sometime next year. And of course, now that I say that, now my computer decides, you know, we're, we're not going to play that game. So let me just quick refresh. Da -de -da -de -da. Apologize for the. Okay, here we go. moments in a rock star's life that define who he is. Where there was darkness, there is now you. And it's going to be a wild ride. I like the style. Cool. So I'm guessing they were probably just being a little cute with based on true fantasy, but then then they went in the direction of sort of like a like almost like magic realism a little bit with you know everyone starting to to float behind him and then he starts floating up on the piano too. So I don't know if that's just sort of like the sensation he gets when he's you know playing or if they're gonna go more along the lines of say um, like across the universe, which obviously was not a biopic in any way, shape, or form, but it's sort of wove in between, you know, very grounded actual scenes between those characters, and then when some of the songs would happen, whether it was because they were high on drugs or just it was the moment, but there were some of those really fantastical out there elements to across the universe, and so I'm, I'm not sure if, if that's what we're getting here or, um, you know what exactly that was, but I'm I'm intrigued by that. I haven't seen, um, and unless I'm just not remembering something, but I I don't remember seeing something like that in a biopic, at least not recently. Jump in the comments. Let me know if you can think of another biopic specifically um, where they have a, a mixture of you know the grounded realism of that person's life, and then it goes into a clearly fantastical 
uh, type of storytelling like they did here. I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm intrigued by that. that. That is the word I'm sticking with. I'm intrigued and I'm interested to see how much of the movie focuses on that type of storytelling. But, you know, like I was saying, I, I really love the, the style they brought about this. Um, you know, just the, the way the, the costumes came together, the different looks they were going to get from Elton John. Obviously, he has a very um, fantastic style to him as well. I, I had the pleasure of seeing him in concert once down in New Orleans. Uh, if you ever get the chance to see him live, worth the money, do it wherever you can. Also for me, Billy Joel, waiting for that biopic. Um, but that's also another person that I would love to see high, high at the top of my list. But anyway, going back to the movie, um, you know, I, I think for a teaser, this, this definitely piqued my interest. I'm, uh, jazzed for it. And now I want to hear what you think about it. Were there some elements that jumped out at you that made you think, oh, this is going to be really cool. I mean, obviously we only got really the, the one song of Rocket Man. So there wasn't a lot of the musicology built into this teaser trailer like we got for the first teaser for Bohemian Rhapsody and the subsequent trailers that have infused a lot of Queen music into those. And I'm, I'm guessing in later trailers we'll hear more than just Rocket Man because obviously it's the title of the movie, it's the one they really want to pull you in with. And, you know, I don't, I don't begrudge them for that. I just want to hear some more music in future trailers, but that's that's just my what what I want, which of course is what's most important here. But more important than what I want is what you want and what you think. So jump in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about this trailer because I I want to know your thoughts, your concerns, your hopes for this movie. So sound off in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. And with that. That'll do it for this trailer reaction. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week doing whatever you're going to do. And uh, we'll join you again for the next one. And as always, I will see you next time.